Take a look at that photo op from the state of Illinois. A big check for downstate veterans. The photo is worth 100,000 words. $100,000, the check says. Actually not, because years later, they haven't seen a dime of that 100K. Distressed, they reached out to us. They have a message for Springfield, if it's listening. In itty bitty Clinton, Illinois. We do a lot for the community. Ed Beck served America, now serves as commander of AMVETS, short for American Veterans, post-14. We have a lot of veterans. Some 100 vets rely for support, advocacy, etc. Rely on post-14. Trouble is, it's tiny, not even 600 square feet. And you look at our meeting room, it's very small. Let's rewind. <laughs> 2014, the state of Illinois awarded the Post a $100,000 grant to expand and better serve the vets with medical care and counseling. And vets filled out the form, planned to start construction. Trouble is, there's always a trouble is, isn't there? The whole thing's a mess. That's an understatement. See here, then state rep Bill Mitchell delivering a fake check for a photo op to the AMVETS in 2018. There on the right, Purple Heart and Bronze Star recipient, Vietnam vet Jesse Owens. When he come, Mitchell come down and give us that check, we thought it was a done deal. We were ready to start working on it. On the left of that fake check, Mark Rogers. I'm the chaplain. His prayers, like many, went unanswered by Springfield. No follow-up, no, we keep asking and, and we get the runaround. So seven years after the initial promise of a hundred grand, three years after the big fake check hoopla, nothing. If, you know, a veteran service officer wanted to work with a veteran one-on-one, -on -one, basically they'd have to use the whole building because there's no privacy. Pat Quinn was governor when the AMVETS got the grant. Bruce Rauner came and went. Now J.B. Pritzker is in charge. The passage of time, a promise, yet not a penny. Their answer was, we're busy. We have a lot to do. It's totally bipartisan because we weren't able to get the check when we had a Republican governor, and we're still not able to get a check with a Democratic governor. Back to that check and smiling former rep Bill Mitchell. We tracked him down for his take. I'm sorry that it's come to this. These people are veterans. They deserve the money. I would never do a photo op without the, the appropriation. Translation? The money was there, or so thought Mr. Mitchell. Why wouldn't he? There's even a line in the budget that year spelling out 100 grand for our vets. We've basically almost given up hope. We have no faith. We thought it was a done deal. We don't always cover stories so far from Chicago, but we believe in promises, like this 2018 letter from then Rep. Mitchell. And we tried to get to the bottom of finger pointing, which is why these vets reached out to us in the first place. The best investigative reporting, and this is not the blow smoke Our investigation that I've ever seen, this has been your channel. So to the members of Post 14, we say thank you for your service. And here's hoping our little story here can be of service to you. So where do things stand now? The current state rep for that area, Dan Calkin, a veteran himself, is fighting for it, but blames Democrats. We reached out to the State Department involved with these grants. Their response was really a bunch of gobbledygook. You can read it for yourself at CBSChicago.com. The governor's office late today said the issues predates his term, and the former state rep jumped the gun with a photo op. Stay tuned. Also today, from the governor's office, they sent us this press release. Governor Pritzker highlights successes in balanced fiscal year 2022 budget. $42 billion worth of balanced budget, but he can't find 100 grand for the bets. Barely a pittance. 